Hey guys, so this is a live update from Easterfest. Oh well, when I say live update, you guys aren't getting this live, but I am live at Easterfest. Well, I'm here at Easterfest. Let's see, Easterfest. Woo! Hopefully you can kind of see that. Yes, you can't see my face when I do that. So, back around like this. Hello. And I would wave at you. I'm holding my ukulele. There we go. Um, I just thought I'd give you... I need to actually stay here, otherwise you can't see my face. Okay. Um, I thought I would chat to you guys a bit about stuff. This stuff is cool. Um, particularly East Vest. Um, I'll probably put up a post on my blog and such for too long. But there's just been some really awesome stuff that's been happening here at East Vest that I wanted to talk about. So, God's been putting in a bit of effort to get me here. So, when I, when I first looked at East Fest this year, I was like, mm, maybe, maybe not. But I was kind of weighing up the, the pros and the cons. And I was like, well, there aren't that many artists playing that I know. And it is pretty expensive and is a bit of a way to go, so I was thinking, maybe not. That same day, I'm pretty sure that, that either that same day or the very next day, my sister go, comes up and tells me, hey, hey, who you, you think you're going to Easter Fest? And I was like, why? And she said, well, it's, it's, it's weird, I've, I've got, um, Liz, who we both know as a friend of ours, um, um, asked me to play in her band at Easterfest with her. And I was like, well, you know, I'm sure I could come along. So that's what I ended up doing. So, um, yeah, Elizabeth Scott, um, was, is, is who Liz is. Um, you may or may not have heard of her. Um, she's a musician, absolutely fabulous musician. Um, yes, look her up if you haven't heard of her. Um, but yes, so that happened. And so, yes, I bought a ticket to East First, I think, pretty much that night. So, in my mind, up, going, yep, all good. Um, then I had to actually get there, and I only realised later on that I actually had to organise my way of getting up there. It wasn't just ha gonna happen magically by itself, and I couldn't hitch right up with the other guys, because they were kind of in their own group sort of thing and doing their own thing. So I had to get up by myself and I can't really drive up that sort of distance by myself because, you know, Sydney to... Well, for those of you who don't know about Easterfest, Easterfest is in Toowoomba. Toowoomba is right near Brisbane. Brisbane is in Queensland. I live down in Campbelltown near Sydney. Sydney is in New South Wales. That's a big hike, just in case you went away. It's like two full days of driving. You don't do that sort of driving by yourself. You don't, it's not good. So, I had to try and find someone who was also going up. And so we looked at options and stuff, and Liz was awesome, and had some friends who were coming up, um, who were putting up a stall and said, hey, these guys have a spot in their bus and they'd be happy to bring you along. I was like, that's kind of awesome. So, that happened. So I came up with them on, well, we left on Tuesday and, the, um, and then we stayed overnight in, first night was Tamworth, so Tuesday night, um, yes, Tuesday night was Tamworth, Wednesday night was Gold Coast, then Thursday night we were here. Um, here being at Easterfest, I was camping here at Easterfest, and Easterfest is then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and tonight is Sunday night. Um, so it's the last night of Easterfest, um, and Easterfest is, well, more or less finished. It's now um, 9.30, which means there's not really much left on. Um, I know. <laughs>
people all over the place and right at the entrance so yeah um but yeah so that that was pretty awesome coming up with them and getting to meet new people and i was the only aussie on the bus which was a bit weird um but yeah so that was really cool um yeah so that was cape and ray bible school shout out to them if you haven't heard of them look them up just just saying just for a plug for them because they're awesome um yeah so that was cool and then while i've been here there's been so many awesome things happening so um one of the things I really wanted to do when I was here was the, the Have You Got Talent competition. They do a talent competition every year here at Easterfest. And so first time I was here, I, well, I wasn't able to bring up my keyboard, but there were people here who had a keyboard that I was able to borrow. Now, this year that wasn't really possible. So I asked Liz if I could borrow hers. She was like, uh, I'm kind of doing something else at the same time. And it's kind of her keyboard, a bit of a big thing. Um, to be borrowing someone else's keyboard. I kind of know that being a keyboardist. Um, it's kind of expensive, just a little bit. Anyway, so I was like, well, I have actually been learning ukulele for the last six months. Haven't ever actually performed it live. Ah, I can have a go. So I did that, and you know what? It was actually okay. It was kind of weird being just me in a ukulele on a big stage, but, you know, it was okay. It was pretty good. It was pretty fun. And, you know, they responded pretty well. I didn't get through the first time, but then the judge... But then, apparently, there was some sort of judge's choice, and the person rang me up and said, Hey, you're through the finals. I was like, cool. So, and it meant that I got another chance to play, which was awesome. Um, which meant that some friends that couldn't see me the first time got to see me the second time, which was cool. Um, yeah. And then I've had other people come up and say, hey, that sounded really awesome, which was cool. And I didn't get, I didn't win, not by a long shot. Um, <laughs> there were people there who'd brought their own fan squads and all that sort of thing, and who were just better than me. So, <laughs> all good. But, now the uke has been absolutely awesome, because I've just been walking around playing it all the time. And, you know, it's, it's, you people kind of notice when you, when you walk around playing your ukulele and they just start listening in and that sort of thing. And I got a sign, um, well, I got a piece of cardboard and wrote on it, strapped it on the back of my bag, just putting my, like, if you like what you hear, look me up, friend and James Raymond and put that up in the back of my bag and that's actually really good as well because people love to stop and read signs they see a sign and they're like hey what's that say so a lot of people have actually just stopped and looked at the sign <laughs> um, but yeah I've had heaps of people come and up and listen to me and oh low battery okay um, gotta keep this short but yeah come listen to me and say it sounds awesome and really encourage me in my music and in my songwriting which has been fantastic it's been really 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 encouraging um, and you know random people that I don't know and you know been busking on the side of the street had people come up to me that weren't even from East Fest and you know one of the guys I didn't I took my hat off the ground put it on the ground and threw some money in there. That, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, um, yeah I'm going to remember that one. And I've given a few CDs away as well, and that's that's been cool. Um, it's all the CDs as well, I believe. That was cool too. Um, and, yeah, it's just been a really good experience, I think, and got some good stuff out of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been good. It has been very good. So, I am planning to come up here again next year. I very much hope. I very, very much hope. But then again, I have no idea what's going to be happening next year. Absolutely no idea. So, it could depend a lot on what is happening next year. But, I'm really hoping I'll be able to get up here. So, that is all from me for now. In regards to Easter Fest. Maybe, just maybe, I will see you up here next year at East Fest, which would be cool. Yes. Until then, well, until next time, see you later.